Let me also quickly go across to Siddhant, who's also reporting on this story. Siddhant, if I could take my next question from you. Uh, the fact that uh, Ashish just highlighted that there's already a charge sheet uh, by the ED in which Jacqueline has been named. How crucial is going to be uh, the EOW's questioning as far as Jacqueline is concerned? How will they take this case forward now? Well, that's right. And Ashish uh, rightly pointed out that she's already an accused in Enforcement Directorate's case. One charge sheet uh, has named her. And in fact, that particular charge sheet of Enforcement Directorate also talks about uh, that how she was the beneficiary of proceeds of money which was extorted by Sukesh Chandrasekhar. In fact, charge sheet also went on to say that she did ignore Sukesh Chandrasekhar's uh, knowingly ignored Sukesh Chandrasekhar's criminal antecedents. So, uh, uh, so you know, uh, 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 such were the observations of Enforcement Directorate, such were the findings of Enforcement uh, Directorate after questioning Jacqueline Fernandez, after questioning people related to the case. And as Ashish pointed out, that it was Delhi police which registered case in this entire matter uh, almost a year back. Then Enforcement Directorate took over the investigation. Uh, they filed their charge sheets. They did examine all the people related to the case. Uh, case, But Delhi Police's investigation was put on hold. Now, after a one year, after a one year, uh, Delhi Police has finally resumed uh, the investigation in this entire matter since ED is almost done with their probe. And this is for the first time that they have summoned Jacqueline Fernandez. And in fact, we've been told that uh, uh, today it's going to be the first day of questioning. Uh, there is a possibility that police will summons her again uh, uh, again, and she's going to be questioned regarding her links with Sukesh Shekhar and also the gifts which were received by her, the money which was transferred to the account of her relatives, her brother, and uh, 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 you know, and uh, uh, and you know, when did he, when did she come in touch with Sukesh Chandrasekhar? What was Pinky Rani's role, the uh, the middle woman in this entire matter? Because Pinky only got Jacqueline introduced to Sukesh Chandrasekhar. So all these questions will be asked to Jacqueline Fernandez. Going by the Enforcement Directorate charge sheet and the statement that Jacqueline Fernandez has given to Enforcement Director, she said, she told the federal agency that uh, uh, that Sukesh Chandrasekhar met her posing as a businessman from South India, relative of uh, of a late politician and owner of. Uh, owner of a, of a media company hmm. and she also told the agency that she wasn't aware about her criminal antecedents. So this is an official stance of uh, Jacqueline Fernandez. In fact, ED charge sheet also says that ja Jacqueline kept on changing her uh, stance right. uh, on the gift that she uh, she had received which includes Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, uh, uh, expensive products which was uh, which were given to her uh, hmm. by, uh, by accused Sukesh Chandrasekhar. All right, uh, Siddhant, Ashish, I'm also joined in by Ananya Bhatnagar right now. We'll quickly go across uh, to our correspondents in just a bit. But now let's also uh, tell you about how the uh, economic offences wing of the Delhi police is going to be questioning Jacqueline Fernandez. What is going to be the line of questioning? Uh, the four major questions that are currently staring in the face of Jacqueline Fernandez. What was her relationship with con man Sukesh? Because see, uh, there were some controversial pictures that had surfaced uh, which indicated that she uh, might have been in a relationship, something that Jacqueline has denied, but Sukesh has maintained that they were in a relationship. Now, point number two to be kept in mind is what were the gifts that she got from Sukesh. As you heard uh, our correspondent Siddhant Misha pointing out that there were some expensive luxury bags uh, that were also gifted. So the proceeds of crime, if one were to say, since she has been an accused in that ED charge sheet, are going to be investigated. How frequently she met with Sukesh Chandrasekhar? That is another crucial, significant uh, question that uh, is going to be probed by the economic offense wing of the Delhi police. And last but not the least, how often did uh, Jacqueline Fernandez contact Sukesh over the phone call? Remember, there has been talk about phone calls uh, which were exchanged uh, between Jacqueline and Sukesh. Uh, 
and that is something that even the Delhi police will be probing today. On that note, let me quickly go across to Ananya Bhatnagar, who's also joining me on the broadcast. Ananya, what are the kind of uh, uh, legal discrepancies that are staring at the face? And uh, how is this case now going to become uh, very challenging as far as the legalities are concerned? Well, yes, uh, the, definitely the legalities uh, as uh, are, are very crucial into this particular matter because remember, uh, today she is appearing before uh, the economic offences wing of the Delhi police, but then on September 26, she will have to appear before Delhi's Patiala House Court also where uh, charge, uh, the cognizance has already been taken on the charge sheet that's been filed by uh, the enforcement directorate. The first charge sheet in which Jacqueline Fernandez has been made an accused into this particular case. Remember that uh, uh, so that the ED's case become a very, very uh, watertight one, the EUW would also have to be on its toes because remember, as per the new uh, judgment in the PMLA case, the predicate offense has to be uh, there. A predicate offense has to be there. And uh, if at all uh, a person is acquitted in the uh, predicate offense, then the whole case of the ED also goes. So, uh, the EOW is somewhere or the other trying to make a watertight case against Jacqueline Fernandez so that uh, no kind of a relief is granted against mm -hmm. her. And remember that the first ED charge sheet that has come now, the third supplementary charge sheet, uh, the second supplementary charge sheet into this particular case clearly goes on to say that in the lure of money, Jacqueline forgot uh, what the All right, we seem to be having some audio uh, connection uh, issue with Ananya, but uh, he's highlighted some very, very valid and crucial points on that note. I'm going to uh, quickly uh, hop over. All right, Ananya, you're back with us. Uh, go ahead and complete what you were saying. Well, yes, uh, Akansha, uh, so uh, the ED charge sheet has constantly uh, said that uh, in the lure of money, Jacqueline Fernandez uh, had forgotten what were the criminal antecedents of Jacqueline uh, of Sukesh and the Shekhar were. She was a part and parcel to this whole uh, conspiracy and the money trail, and she had enjoyed the proceeds of crime. Not only her, but also her family members had enjoyed the proceeds of crime in the form of loans. She had received expensive bags, cars, and also a very, very expensive horse was gifted to her by Sukesh and the Shekhar into this particular case. But what is very, very crucial at this point of time is uh, as to how and what does Jacqueline say in her answers before the economic offenses wing of the Delhi police? First time uh, she's appearing before the EOW into this particular case. Remember that this is the third time she's been summoned by the economic offenses wing of the Delhi police. First two times she had skipped those summons. Uh, in the second time she had said uh, she had some uh, professional commitments into this particular uh, time. And hence uh, this date was given and now she will be appearing before the economic offenses wing of the Delhi police. Absolutely, Ananya. Stay with us as I quickly take my next question from Ashish Mehrishi, uh, who continues to track the ED for us. Ashish, uh, as you heard what Ananya was saying, he's made a very crucial um, uh, point over here. He's saying that this will be about a predicate offense that uh, will that's currently being uh, built by the Delhi police, has already been sort of established through those charge sheets by uh, the enforcement directorate. And how important it is now for the ED and for the Delhi uh, Police's EOW to now build that uh, watertight case in order for that very crucial hearing that is supposed to take place uh, in uh, the Patiala House Court in late September. So legally speaking, uh, one has to realize the fact that uh, the case of enforcement directed has to stand in the court of law. Right. If the predicate offence in the initial case, that is the economic offences wing case uh, uh, of Delhi Police, stands. So that is why they have to prove in the court of law that uh, that Jacqueline Fernandez was very much in the know. She was in touch. She 